Hello and welcome to Realms Forgotten. This is going to be our new Bannerlord series, and there are six different factions to choose from, all totally, totally converted, new troop trees and everything, and a completely new map to play on as well. We're going to be playing as the Dread Realms here because that is indeed the undead faction. There's magic in this mod as well, so if you're looking forward to that, well, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you right there. Anyway, we're just going to be lowering our height a little bit there. Bear in mind, uh, currently, I don't think we... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I actually need to do something real fast. We're just going to change our hair a little bit here. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's, go, let's be bored for once, shall we? Let's do that because... Uh, here's the thing. There's a bunch of different races to choose from and we can actually play as an undead right here Look at this Pretty cool. Um, you can even choose elf. Obviously you could play as an elf. You could play as a Mull, I have no idea what that is and you can even play as a giant as you can see right there. Absolutely massive you Can't even see the whole guy. But there you go um, Those are the those are the uh, <laughs> Those are the races you could choose from pretty um, pretty amazing thing. Oh, yeah, by the way this mod is a solo effort, a completely solo effort, and it is still in development. So just bear that in mind, still in development, uh, made by one person, and that that just blows the mind, does it not? I think it blows the mind. Anyway, we're going to be Servant of the Undead here, riding a two-handed skill. Uh, we're going to go for, I need to get charm skill, don't I? Yeah, I need to get some charm skill here, so let's do that. Let's get uh, athletics and throwing, trade and charm. I think trade and charm could be kind of good. Uh, pole arm and one-handed, do we want to do that? Maybe pole arm and one-handed, yeah, why not? Sounds like a good idea, and then we'll go for one-handed and two-handed. Obviously, you're going to be able to select other things if you want to, but yeah, for me personally, I'm happy with this. And also, here's the thing, uh, this mod also incorporates a bunch of other mods that enable even, even more additional customization, which is actually kind of crazy. So, for example, you can create your very own character as a caravanier. You could be a new vassal of the Dread Realms. You could be an escaped prisoner. You could do whatever you want to do. And this obviously provides you with some kind of gameplay benefit. Or you could just play as the default start and then you just, you know, do the do, do the normal Bannerlord thing. But I'm going to be doing this. Budding caravanier. Sounds like a good idea to me. And we are also just going to be uh, starting near our home in the city where your journey began. You can, of course, change that. Or you could start in a completely random place. But I want to start in the Dread Realms because I want to be able to recruit undead troops immediately. Now, apart from that, there's a massive array of different banners. Completely new banners available here. And you can see that right there. There's a, there's a skull here. There's a number of other things available. I believe that it currently doesn't show up. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it actually shows up for me right now, but maybe it will show up in the game. I don't actually know whether that is the case. I've had this issue, um, but maybe that's just because, I don't know, it's me, you know. It, it sometimes happens that I am uh, kind of, you know, like that. I do have those kinds of issues. So we're just going to play like this. Ooh, seems like a... I, lo I love the additional colors, I gotta say. I actually am very enjoying the additional colors here, so let me actually see. Mm, I kind of like this. I kind of like this color, so let's do it. We're going to be calling ourselves uh, Bear Tilt, as you may expect. Actually, you know what? Let's not, let's not do Bear Tilt. Let's do Death Bloom, because if you recall, uh, from way back in Warband, I had a character by the name of Arcane Death Bloom. He was a necromancer in Fantasy Calradia, and uh, because we are playing a relatively, you know, D&D inspired kind of experience here once again, this mod has magic, by the way. Yes, um, it seems rather fitting, don't you think? Yes, it seems rather fitting. So we're going to be playing on Bannerlord preset, as you can uh, no doubt tell, auto allocate clan member perks, and what else do we want? I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. So let's continue, start the game, and let's see where we begin. All right, so here we go. We're in Kishol, and this is literally all the way in the north. This is the map, by the way. It's absolutely massive. Not as large as other maps that I've seen, but that doesn't matter to me, because as long as we have those conversions and the troop trees being completely new to us, I am very, very pleased with that. So, for example, let's say I want to take a look at the Dread Realms, and I want to have a look at their uh, troop trees. Oh, yeah, of course, I, I do, do it that way. Okay, let's do this. 
There we are. That's a little bit easier. And now you can get to see every single one of their troop trees. So you can see that they have um, skeletons, zombies. They've even got things called zombus, and they're, they're two-handed weapon users, as you can see right there. And they also have heavy axemen and heavy spearmen and so on and so forth. And all have completely custom looks as well. And as I said before, or maybe I didn't say, this mod only requires harmony. Yes. It only requires harmony. I can't believe that because, you know, usually if there's going to be a massive amount of new troops and everything and they don't use the base game stuff, they're going to require some kind of armor mod. And armor, armor mods never work for me. So this mod only requiring harmony is absolutely fantastic for someone like me who always has issues with that kind of stuff. Anyway, there's even a demon lord here. Look at this. Look at this guy. Really? This is crazy. Absolutely crazy, and uh, there's even a witch, as you can see, and uh, the witch actually advance, advances into the demon lord. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. And then we also have vampires, of course, and the vampires do seem to be the noble units, I believe. They do seem to be the noble units, and you can see here that they, uh, they come equipped with lances and all that stuff. Bear in mind, as I said before, this is a work in progress and made by one person, so... You know, uh, take from that what you will. Anyway, there is a village over there if we want to recruit some people. I, I think we're actually maxed out in terms of our um, uh, in terms of our clan size at the moment. Let's actually just have a look. Yeah, as you can see, we have skeleton recruits and skeleton warriors. So I don't even need to go around recruiting anything, and we can just go straight on in to a battle against these primitives. And they are in fact looters. So let's see what we can do against them. Um, I actually want to spec my points before we do that though. It's probably going to be a good idea. Uh, I don't actually need any additional trade skill. I would like some charm skill. Hopefully we're going to be able to do a task or something like that because I want to get to 25, get some additional renown whenever we can do a tournament. Obviously I'm not going to be showing too many tournaments but you know it's nice to just have that as a possibility. So we're just going to put some focus points in there. I'm thinking we might actually use bows. I think it might be quite fun to use bows uh, once again because we haven't used bows in quite some time. So why not? Sounds like a fun idea. Let's put some uh, in control there. We have five in social actually, quite quite dramatic amount. And we'll just put another point into riding here as well. All right, so let's go straight on in and see how our first battle is going to be. All right, so here we go. Now, Arcane doesn't currently have any perks, so... Me placing him in the command tree here, not going to make any difference right now, but that's fine because we're only up against looters. This should be completely and very, very simple to uh, to achieve victory here. Uh, cross fingers, cross fingers, right? Yeah, because these guys could have pole arms. Do they have pole arms? Yes, they do. Oh, no, that's terrible. Oh, that is absolutely terrible for me. Okay, I'm going to have to tell my forces to charge in here. And I will try to just act as a distraction. This is one of those times where being a distraction is absolutely paramount and extremely important for us to do. Nice damage right there. At least initially. And I'm going to try to keep my people alive as best I can. Nice headshot. Very good. Okay, can we get a little bit more of that, please? Oh, no, these guys are just going to absolutely murder me, I believe. There we are. Can we get some more? No, I think that's probably it for, from from me. I don't think I'm going to get any more kills here. My, my guys are literally just murdering everyone, which is exactly what we pay them to do. <laughs> All right, there we go. Fantastic. 1.5 renown as well for that. We did... Oh, we actually gained a new spear. Very nice. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely take that. We also have um, a bunch of cannibal bones vests. Ooh, that, that, looks, that looks very cool. That looks very cool. And we got a mule as well. Obviously, we have 25 mules. And this is, of course, making a huge difference to our carry capacity. We have a massive amount of grain, actually. I feel like we may have too much grain. So maybe what I want to do... Mm, maybe I should go and try and find a, a town or something like that that was under siege recently. That might... That might make sense. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't know whether it's really necessary, to be honest. Anyway... Let's move on, shall we? Let's move on and um, let's see what we can do. I'm hopeful that maybe we can do a task straight away. Do you think I can do a caravan ambush? I don't think I can do a caravan ambush, but maybe if I recruit, uh, well, not recruit, but maybe if I level these guys up. Oh, actually, what, what should these guys become, actually? Should I make them into zombie line breakers or zombus? What's this guy? Look at him. 
He's just got a two-handed axe, which is an absolutely insane weapon. Or we can make them into zombie line breakers um, over here. Or we could make them into spearmen or axemen. Mm, I don't know. I'm having difficulties deciding now, actually. I'm thinking maybe the demon. I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. Okay, let's go for zombie raiders then. Zombie raiders will be our uh, our first level up. Might not be a good idea, because let's face it, you know, we're probably going to have... Um, you know, it's a lot of issues with ranged troops. That is maybe going to be an issue. Okay, so how fast am I actually running here? I'm thinking I'm having a herd problem. Yeah, I am having a slight herd problem. So um, let me see if I can actually do battle against these guys. Okay, no, that's, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, once his daughter found, that might actually be a really, really good thing for us to do. And let me actually just get rid of some of my grain here. Just a little bit of grain. And I'm wondering, you know what, I need to, I really need to sell my mules somewhere. So uh, let's go to Shish and um, we'll see if we can actually make a, a small profit. I doubt it somehow, um, but it is increasing our, our speed dramatically, which is actually very nice. Um, yeah, but we already have a horse here. I would like to get more riding skill. My riding skill is absolutely abysmal right now. It's only at 14, so I will have to do better with that. Maybe I can get a good shield. I do have a one-handed, so it might make sense. Okay, let's just do this. There we go. I might like to get a bow as well. Mm. Okay, well, whatever the case, we should go back to where we were previously, which is where? Where were we were pre- uh, we were over here, yes, we were over here. And we're gonna go and do the uh, the daughter's quest. Ah, yes, and we also leveled up, very nice indeed. Ah, yes, a minus 15% price penalty while selling equipment, that's the main reason why I wanted some trade skill. And otherwise, what do we want? Well, probably more riding skill, just so we make sure that we get that. Or I could go for something else like steward. But then I'm also thinking that steward skill, that's not actually going to be too difficult for me to get from someone else. I might be able to get it from an, an, an additional companion or someone that I end up marrying potentially as well. So maybe it's, maybe it's not even necessary. Engineering, medicine, obviously both of these things are absolutely fantastic. But I'm, I'm thinking, you know what, maybe we just want to focus on our own skills for the moment. And we're just going to go for writing at this time. And uh, maybe we can fill in one of our, um, one of our, uh, you know, other party skills um, as and when we need it instead of, um, you know, proactively doing that. Anyway, oh, yes, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, we're in a battle against 21 of them. This is, uh, this is not so good. This is not so good. I mean, I, I don't know. This is going to be interesting because these fellows, we've never fought them before. We have no idea what kind of equipment they have I can only hope that they're not like forest bandits if they are like forest bandits I can uh, just say goodbye now I guess uh, yeah nice thrown weapon okay no this guy knows what's up okay yeah they actually have a bunch of thrown weapons here okay they're gonna take out my horse if I allow them to do so I need to distract them though that's the problem I have a bad feeling about this actually okay good damage Okay, uh, yeah, 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 let's charge, let's charge. Most of them are distracted, most of them are distracted. Come on, come on, guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I just need to do a nice little stab here, a nice little stab there, and hopefully my forces will be able to do something in the meantime because I'm very worried. Oh, nice, okay. I was actually hoping for a bit more damage there, Arcane. A bit more damage, please, sir. Yeah, we seem to... Whoa, my guys are absolutely slaughtering. Wow, okay, I'm... I gotta say, I'm actually quite surprised because I have actually taken a look at some of the lower tier units in the game. And every single recruit and volunteer has a relatively similar stat line. And basically what that means is you're going to be on, an, on a very even keel with pretty much every, every other person that has recruits. Instead of, you know, there being a complete massive disparity between the factions dependent on things, you know. So it's very well balanced so far from what I've seen. And we're going to be going for 
Hmm, we, sh we should probably go for some shielded units if we already have these guys leveled up into skeletal soldiers. So I'm thinking we'll go for skeleton spearmen for the moment. But if, for me personally, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't really like the fact that we are going for spearmen because they're going to be really bad in any kind of infantry combat. So that's obviously a bit of an issue. Anyway, we're just going to be equipping some things here. And uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. We got some javelins here, which we can sell for a very, very good amount. Uh, we got a bunch of other things here, but I got some nice gloves. These gloves are very good. All right, I'm pretty happy with everything. And we're just going to be moving on. We've already hunted both bands of bandits, I think. Oh no, only one. Really? It only counted for one? Oh, that's sad. I thought I, I, thought I got two of them. Oh well, never mind. Trolls have spawned. Yeah, there are um, <laughs> there are large custom spawns in this mod as well. So we've got to be very, very cautious about them. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to have some issues actually catching up to people here. Maybe I can buy some horses just to give me a, a, a slight increase in speed. Maybe that's going to be quite useful. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm spending 2,000. This is really bad. For me to do this but i'm gonna do it let's just trade a bunch of our uh, our stuff here okay i am going to be moving much faster than these fellows now so i should be able to get them or not as the case may be wow okay these guys are super fast okay what about those fellows uh yeah i have no idea why they're so quick but yeah they are indeed very fast okay maybe i should get rid of um maybe my prisoner is slowing me down a little bit no my herd my herd deficit of course of course i completely forgot about that all right good there we go all right yeah we're just going to discard the items for the moment because i'm very close by to some of these uh yeah and then they then they run away of course oh well never mind never mind it's fine it's fine we're just going to ah uh, we can maybe get these I really need some more riding skill, don't I? Okay, let's get him. Let's get him. Go. Ah, too late. Okay, yeah, they, they just go too far away. Uh, we might be able to get these guys, though. All right, so I managed to get into a battle against some looters once again here. And I'm going to be probably... I, I don't really want to level up pole arms. So I'm thinking I'll probably level up two-handed and try to get a two-handed axe relatively soon. Because that's probably going to be the only thing I can get early on in the game without having to smith something myself but don't worry i will be smithing something myself soon enough that would be um, a lot of fun in my opinion just to use my weapons that i'm going to be smithing because in, in other words i would just be using some random you know random axe somewhere from a marketplace or something and that, in my opinion that's just not fun so i mean to be fair a big two-handed axe I think that's just as fun as the next thing, but it's going to be more fun to use our own weapon that we've called something very, very amusing or cool either way. So I'm thinking that might be quite, quite cool to do. Anyway, let's just see. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to actually just charge everyone in. I don't think I really need to hold back any further because we are, um, well, we're absolutely demolishing pretty much any, um, any units that we've come up against so far, which I'm actually quite surprised at. I'd love to get to 25 riding skill, please. Or I'd like to just get shot in the face. Uh, actually, actually, that was not even a, a that was not even a face shot. That was literally a, a thrown weapon in the chest, and he did a hundred damage to me. That's pretty incredible, I got to say. <laughs> that is pretty. That is very impressive. All right, well there you go. There's our first. There's our first death from some random looter somewhere. That is always very embarrassing, isn't it? But it's funny. Uh, you know, I find that super funny, at least. Anyway, we're going to be going for demons. Yes, demons. Let's level up those guys. Um, we can also get these. I really do need to go to a nearby town, but I wanted to focus on this, you know, this particular quest. And there we go. We've actually now completed it. So we should probably go over to Shish once again. And uh, we're just going to... Ooh, there is a tournament here. I kind of want to do the tournament. I know some people don't really like doing tournaments initially. What? How does this guy have my name? Are you serious? <laughs> How does he have my name? All right, all right, fine. Uh, hello there, sir. Yes, you can join me because you are indeed uh, my namesake, apparently. I'm going to sell my prisoners for a measly amount, of course. That is exactly what we will do. And otherwise, we're going to go into the trade screen. I'm not going to go into the smithy just yet. We'll go into the trade screen here, and we're just going to sell some stuff. 
just so that we can, um, well, maximize the amount that we're getting. I'm actually just going to trade a b bunch of things to this guy, just make sure that he's equipped as many things as he can handle. Does he have throwing skill? He, you better not have throwing skill. He does. Of course he has throwing skill. I don't want to give him these because they sell for a thousand. I'm just going to give him the fish harpoons. He's just going to have to make do with that. I'm very sorry, Mr. Arcane Horse Thief. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so it's so incredibly funny all right yeah let's just sell this uh is there anything else that i can sell well i could sell some grain here obviously if i want to because i have literal 160 days worth of food yeah this is pretty crazy so technically i can sell this for a large amount and there we go we're back up to 8200 so yeah it might as well be the case that i'm gonna wait here for some time let's see if i actually have the ability to join the tournament because obviously I'm going to wait until like 50% HP or whatever, because otherwise we're, we're way too injured to actually go into it and have fun. Because let's face it, you know, if I do get hit, I'm probably going to die instantly anyway, because I really don't have much in the way of defense or any good gear. And these guys are. They're going to absolutely massacre me. So I should be very, very careful. Let's see if I can do some damage to this guy. No, no. Get, stay away from me, sir. Thank you. Okay, as long as I can do damage, that's all that matters. Nice. Alright, that's what we like. Okay, he's doing some damage to me, but we should be able to at least survive and there are, uh, until there are only two teams remaining, hopefully, right? This sword is absolutely terrible. Gotta say that. Nice. Oh, that was Arcane himself. Oh, I wondered who that was, actually. I thought to myself, that guy looks weird. <laughs> oh, he's not going to be too pleased, is he? Uh, technically, if he had actually won this, we would be in the money as well. So maybe I should have just let him live so that he could have progressed to the next rounds. I should really get off my horse as well and get a spear. That would make much more sense, but, uh, you know, it's risky. Nice, nice hit. Uh, I gotta be careful here. I gotta be super careful. These guys have very good armor. That's the point. They have extremely good armor. There we go. That is nice. Just need to eliminate one more. And then we're basically through. Nice. There we are. Okay, so we are definitely through now. Even if I get eliminated here. So I shouldn't have to worry too much. And hopefully we can just tackle this guy once again and we're getting some pretty decent skill ups as well in an environment where we're not really going to be having too many issues so even if i do manage to fail this obviously because i started as a budding caravaneer i'm not going to be um suffering too badly if i were to end up losing but yes oh come on get him yes there we go nice teamwork sir nice teamwork zombie hangman see what I can do here. Nice. Nice. Good damage. Not that one. Not that one. Yes, there we go. Okay, slightly better. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> I could definitely do I could definitely do with those those harder hits. Or uh, shall we say yes, those uh, more damaging hits. Nice. Seems like the it feels to me like the dread realm units are really effective. Ah, we've been given some throwing weapons. Hmm. I'm not too bad with them, but my character is pretty terrible, as you can see. He has six in throwing at the moment. I'm not I'm not expecting to do any kind of thrown weapons, so yeah, doing this is rather intriguing. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to actually win this. This guy's got good armor, as you can see by the amount of damage I'm doing here. Wow, yeah, he's really, really good. He's actually got... Some good skills as well, no doubt. Oh, whew. okay. Thankfully, it's not like it's not like Pendor or Parisno when you when you go into a, a tournament and you literally just can't do any damage in the final round. But there you go. We were able to do it nicely done. Got some good renown for us, and we should actually take a look and see how close we are to the next clan tier because that's really going to make a huge difference for us in general. So let's see. Yeah, we're twenty away, so that's quite significant, but. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. We're, we're going to get there in the end, and that's all that matters, really. Anyway, we're just going to be selling the Raider Axis for another thousand. We're going to be trying to get some caravans to establish our economy as fast as possible. 
and we're not really going to be spending too many points in trade or anything like that but my initial points in trade are just going to help me to make money from selling gear that I get from battles and things like that so that's usually the uh, the way to go for this anyway what else do we have here no I should probably go to some more uh, villages instead of towns that's going to make a much bigger difference to my quests and the difficulty of them out of the trade Ugh, yeah that's that's pretty terrible uh, ooh, 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 hello C can I can I please fight these yes oh this is a big okay this is a big fight this is a big fight right here I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to do something here but we should hopefully be able to plus 20% charge damage I'm going to take that uh, we'll go for plus 20% handling to one-handed. I think that's pretty good because we also now have the ability to gain a plus 30 combat skill to troops in your formation instead of a minus 4% damage taken by infantry while in shield wall formation. Not sure what's going on with the disparity between these two perks because for me personally, I think minus 4% damage taken is abysmal. I think that's one of probably the worst perks that you can get in comparison to plus 30 combat skill. I mean, really, plus 30 combat skill is actually great. That's that's really good. But yeah, the other thing, not so much. So very pleased that we're going to be able to do something here with this. And we have, um, where's Arcane? Is he actually on a horse? No, he's not on a horse. That's hilarious considering he's a horse thief. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, let's see what we can actually do here. This is going to be interesting. I, hmm, I actually don't know how we're going to do it, but I, I guess we'll just try our best. These fellows all have thrown weapons. Oh yeah, they they just gave me flashbacks right here. Uh, <laughs> they just gave me flashbacks to that previous fight where I just got absolutely murdered in one hit. Okay, well, I basically can just do some damage. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that was not good at all. Oh well. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to tell them to charge. We, I think they've used all their thrown weapons. Yes, they have. This is great. And now this means... Oh, this guy has. I'm just going to try and kill him. Or interrupt him at least. Oh, some of them still have thrown weapons. Oh, no. Ah, oh, yeah, of course he did. Of course he was able to do that. All right. Well, I'm, I'm pretty good with my one-handed. I don't think we are going to be dying too easily here. As you can see. Nicely done, nicely done. And we are now able to start attacking them once again. There we are, yes. Get all those kills, get all those kills, Arcane. You're going to need to boost yourself up, thank you very much. Okay, yeah, so also, there are going to be special merchants in the taverns of the world. And when you go to these special merchants, you're going to be able to purchase extraordinary abilities. And uh, maybe spells as well. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Because, of course, I uh, haven't encountered anything like that just yet. But I am very, very intrigued by that. And I'd love to be able to go and do that. So I think that is exactly what we'll do in a second. And we're going to go and get these um, heavy axemen. Let's just equip some people with things. There we go. And we are going to... Uh, let's go over here. Let's go over here. I've got to be a bit careful now because um, the bandit parties are quite large in this area. As you can see, there was another bandit party there of around um, 19 or something like that, which was pretty pretty scary if you have uh, a smaller smaller party than them. Anyway, let's see. Mm, I'm not entirely sure what the merchant looks like, by the way, so it's probably going to be unlikely that I'll be finding them in the first tavern that I go into. And yes, indeed. I would be correct in assuming that. But I'm going to search around a little bit and maybe I'll find one. Ah, uh, okay, hello. Uh, who have we Who have we met here? It seems like we've met another arcane. Yes. <laughs> I, have, I have a sneaking suspicion that this is a bug of some kind, but <laughs> it is an amusing one nevertheless. So I find that quite funny. Anyway, um, yeah, I have not yet found a special merchant, but I did find this guy who is called Arcane. So I thought that was that was rather amusing. Okay, yes, I'm probably. You know what? Should I just should I just get him? Should I just get him? I'm actually not entirely sure because here's the thing: the new encyclopedia window doesn't actually tell me what these guys are good in. As you can see, they don't actually say. They they say that they're good in these combat skills, but they don't actually say the the minor skills that they're good in. So. I think this guy, considering his name is the Shark, I would assume that he's good at roguery. 
And personally for me, I'm not really looking for a roguery character. I mean, this guy's probably already roguery. No, he's actually a scout. That's actually quite useful for me. Let's, um, let's make him our scout. There we go. Um, no, actually, there we go. There we go. That, that's, that's what we wanted to do. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm actually going to go and, uh, I, I, yeah, I really want to do more tasks. I really want to do more tasks. So let me see if I can actually do that. Deliver the herd. Okay, this is absolutely perfect. I am indeed a merchant. So it makes the most sense for me to do this. All right, deliver the herd over there. This is going to take us a few moments and we are going to be able to hopefully gain quite a lot of charm skill because that charm skill is then going to enable us to earn even more during tournaments. Now, bear in mind, I'm not going to be showing a huge amount of tournaments in this particular series. We're just going to be doing uh, i'm going to show tournaments that are relatively close and that's basically it i'm not going to be showing tournaments that are just you know kind of the standard standard deal here anyway we're just going to speak to this fellow and there we go about the task i brought the 10 sheep there we are and we gained a skill point in charm i was actually hoping that we could get a little bit more than that to be honest but oh well you know it happens like it happens yes indeed all right, so we actually leveled up and we do have an attribute point and a focus point to spend. So what are we actually going to do? Well, I did say that I wanted to do smithing. So I'm actually thinking that maybe it would be a good idea for me to spec into that. Uh, but I, otherwise, apart from that, I'm not entirely sure because I don't have a bow just yet. I don't have a two-handed. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I do need to go and get a two-handed, don't I? So I'm thinking, you know what? Let's, let's, do, let's do smithing just so that I have a point in it. And we'll put another point in endurance as well, because I am inevitably going to need that when we level up our um, athletics and all that wonderful stuff. I actually have a herd problem right now. I'm not entirely sure why I have a herd problem, so just going to get rid of a couple of these. That was it? Just one? Ah, okay, I need to get rid of two, actually. Need to get rid of two. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to keep these, and I'm just going to sell them instead. But I should be able to catch up to these guys without having to get rid of them. So, yeah, that's perfectly fine. And now, here's the thing. I absolutely love this mod already because we have the ability to fight larger bandit parties. Very, very easy to find as well. They are a little bit too fast for my liking, but, you know, that's just how it is. You're going to have to just, you know, maximize your own speed as much as you possibly can and then everything's going to be absolutely fine. I am very worried that I'm going to get hit once again by one of these thrown weapons, but that's the risk you take, isn't it? Yes, that is the risk you take going into these battles, and hopefully I'm not going to have that happen to me, and I'm just going to be able to get continue, ow, continue getting some nice skill with our weapons here. Okay, we're, we're actually losing quite a lot of our troops right now, mostly because, as I said, the distraction didn't really work as intended. It was a little bit less effective this time around. And, uh, well, while, while we are still losing units, that's not too bad, because we are going to be able to level them up quite quickly, I think. And there's our 25th point in pole arms. I do need to get a two-handed, don't I? Yeah, I'm going to go and get a two-handed right away just now. Okay, so zombie hangman. No, demons. We want more demons, please. Yes. There we go. Let's just get Arcane replacing his... The uh, the thick tunic with the ta tailored... Uh, who's who's who, actually? Who's who now? Because every... <laughs> oh, that's absolutely hilarious. They're just replacing things over and over again. Yeah, well, this is obviously better than what he was wearing, as you can quite clearly tell. So, yeah, that's absolutely fine. All right, so let's just move on. Ooh, I don't think I've been to this town just yet. So if I go in here, maybe I'm going to be able to find what I need. Let's just sell the prisoners. I don't have a huge amount of roguery skill or focus points in roguery skill. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there are any merchants here. I'm actually wondering if there are any in the... Uh, Maybe there's a merchant up here. <gasps> Aha! Hello there. Okay, apparently it's in the second level. Maybe not every time, but right now it is. Yes, I heard you deal with special items. Yes, what can I do for you? What do you have to offer? Okay, so here we go. This is the... <laughs> These are the crazy items that you're going to be able to um, buy from this particular merchant. As you can see. A Nazgul two-handed sword, which is enchanted. A, uh, a An orc sword, an undead king axe, and a variety of other things. Absolutely insane. You even have longbows here as well. You have 
crossbows that can actually, uh, well, as you can quite clearly tell, they, uh, they do seem to be somewhat magical. And you have fireballs, energy here. You can raise undead. Yes. Wait a minute. Can I actually... Can I actually use that right now? It's only 719. Okay. Wait a minute. Summon undead? Raise undead. Summon undead? I'm going to take a summon undead. Okay, let's do this. That sounds pretty fun to me. Summon undead. Let's do it. Okay, why am I... Uh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm in my civilian clothing right now. Okay, let's just do that. There we go. Okay, this is going to be... Okay, mm, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued, okay? So, let's see. Otherwise, you can also do things like summon ghost knight. Summon demon. You can do all these wonderful, wonderful things. Actually crazy. Not sure if I need anything to be able to do that, but hopefully not. Um, there's also this armor that you can, of course, purchase if you have a lot of money, which we do not at the moment. And there are no horses available here, unfortunately. But very cool, nevertheless. There you are. And we were able to actually find one, finally. I'm very, very pleased. I actually wonder whether I've been missing it the entire time and it was just in the second level of the tavern. Maybe it, in fact, is. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, I'd love to be able to... Ooh, hello. Can we fight them? Fight this guy. Fight him, fight him, fight him, fight him. Yes, there we go. I really want to go and see what the Summon Undead Stone actually does. So I'm going to get off my mount real fast. And here it is. The weapon you are wielding has enhanced your skill in combat, increasing your throwing by 50 points. Okay, let's see. What does it do? Okay, it did nothing. Do I, do I have to kill? Ah, maybe I have to kill enemies with it. And then that's going to provide me with an undead from their remains. That could possibly be the case. What is that? Am I some kind of baseball star? Yes, I am. Okay, I'm not doing any damage with it, unfortunately. So I'm not entirely sure what it what it's actually supposed to do, unfortunately. Maybe um maybe if I maybe if I'm well, not if I die, of course. <laughs> that's hilarious, but that's the thing. I was actually wondering whether it marks them and then makes them get you know summons them or something like that, or maybe what I have to do is press X and then actually summon them with the alternate mode. That could be the case. Because as you can see, it does one blunt damage. So that's obviously not what it's supposed to do. It is not supposed to be a weapon. It is supposed to be something that you throw on the ground and then it summons something. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe there is some, some other reason. Okay, so I'm going to try it out once again. Off, and oh, I can't actually join this guy. Okay, yeah, unfortunate that I have... No health. Yes, give me more health, please. I really need a medicine person, don't I? Yeah, that would be very, very lucrative for me. Okay, well, I'm going to try and find someone. All right, so I'm in another battle here, and you can see that we're up against some primitives, but this is the thing. If I try to use this, it doesn't actually do anything. So uh, that's the thing. I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit perplexed as to... Uh, what I can actually do with this. I'm trying all kinds of different things. I'm, I'm trying to press X as well. I can only assume that I am missing something. There is definitely going to be something that I need to do maybe to learn the magic specifically and otherwise it's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure that out for the next episode. If you want to see another episode that is. And once again if you want to see more by all means let me know in the comments because I'd love to play more of this. This is an absolutely fantastic mod. And there is going to be a link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.